everyone. It's me, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. We have the Ghost Layers Report. Right now, I'm in a um, little peaceful area here in my uh, local community. As you know, nature is hard to find in the metro area, so when I find nice places like this, I kind of take a certain appreciation to it. And it's a good spot to uh, get into the issue I want to talk about here. Now, of course, Japan needs to change its energy policy. That's pretty obvious. No doubt in my mind. I think everyone knows that. But, still yet, I think we need to think about the um, overall um, nature of a new energy policy. And stay with me here on this one for a little bit. I've been thinking that we should go with a people before profit energy policy for Japan. Now what I mean by that is to remove the profit motive from energy production. Now of course TEPCO should have been gone a long time ago. We should have went into liquidation, the process of reinvesting in it. That didn't happen. Yes, the government nationalized it, but with the, the idea of turning a profit. So my idea is to, well, of course, move away from nuclear power. It's been proven here in Japan that not only is it dangerous, due to the ge geography of Japan, you know, high potential for big earthquakes, tsunamis, uh, the possibility of building uh, nuclear power plants on fault lines, which has already happened. It is too dangerous. But what should be done is to look at nuclear, excuse me, look at energy production as something that everyone needs as almost like a right of the people to have access to a proper amount of energy. So we should look for alternative forms of energy production and operate everything at cost. Which means we build the infrastructure, we use private enterprise to do that, that should be regulated to make sure everyone who needs to be paid should be paid for their time and effort and labor. But we should not be looking to make profit from energy production. Like I said, it should be viewed as something everyone needs. And if it is something everyone needs and we are trying to make profit from that, we will continue to have the same unethical behavior, same corruption, same attempts to compromise safety standards, same attempts to compromise proper waste disposal, and almost every type of energy production does need a proper waste disposal. Because if you put profit into it, up and down the line, top to bottom, there will be constant efforts to cut corners. Now I know what a lot of you may say. If I had a profit motive, people will not work hard. Yeah, I've heard those arguments before. But it's going to require uh, the creation, development of cooperative corporations. Whereas you have the workers more in control of what's going on. And that goes from top to bottom, from um, heads of the company all the way down to the bottom. That will take time to develop, but there's already systems out there to structure that type of corporation. And you get each local community involved with it as well, and the possibilities are endless to make clean, safe, efficient energy in abundance for Japan. I just wanted to bring that point up. Now, as we all know, solar power, due to the initiative uh, by the Japanese government through regulation 
to require current electric oper power operators to buy a certain percentage of solar power from companies who develop and build the infrastructure at below market cost. I've been completely in support of that. Because in Japan we still have a very, very capitalist um, economy. And it's hard to spur companies to go for cleaner forms of energy that haven't been tried before on a massive scale due because the risk, the perceived risk of not being able to turn a profit on it. So you want to spur a private enterprise to do it, you have to do things like that. But I'm still in favor of um, having these private enterprises under, more under control of the government to uh, develop these things and have more of the common people involved in energy production. More programs designed to be more resourceful with how we use energy. Rethink our lifestyles and things of that nature. So I made this video to get that idea out and I hope to get some conversation started about this, okay? So look at the points I made. Take time to consider it, think about it. Let's have a discussion. Video responses are more than welcomed on this issue. But I want people to actually make videos on this one. Uh, give your take on these, uh, this perspective for me. All right, and comments, you know, written comments, please get plenty of those as well. Please spread this video around as a topic starter. So until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. Check it out.